I, so I did really quick like makeup base for it now because I really really felt the need to share this excitement because I found it at Walmart and like I was I went to go like buy some pest control and I happened to me like let me check out the makeup that's on this side and I found these goodies from Milani and it's their Halloween collection for 2021 so I spent like $117 like, it's not what I meant to spend, but, you know, it happened. I literally went over there for one thing and came back with other stuff. I didn't buy everything, okay? I did not buy everything. I got a random, um, pastel palette from Profusion, too. So, that, that'll be in a later one. Um, but, yeah, 117 I still didn't buy everything because it was a lot. But I did buy the palette. One palette. It's, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so colorful. That's one. And with that one, the lashes are these. Um, this one, um, does it have a name? The Enchantment. So there's this. Then this one, it's got blue on it. And this one is the Escape. Okay. And um, I think with those, with those, with those, with those. I don't know what, I'm like trying to look at this picture right here. On that side, it was a pink and like a another pinkish lip shade, but I didn't get those. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, like, the pink right there. I didn't get those because aren't really the tones I normally go for. Those are, like, $7.97. The palettes, um, let me see, where's my receipt? The receipt's in here. This is from my local Walmart. I don't know if both locations are going to get them. Is that the receipt? Is this the receipt? Where'd the receipt go? I balled up the receipt. Whoops. The baby's chilling on the bed eating bread. Okay, so the palette... Is $14.97 for nine shades, but they look promising, okay? And then there were like face jewels again in this collection. These two face jewels, I just didn't buy them. Those are $8.97. Uh, they also, you know, added in their setting spray for $8.97 and their mascara down there, but I didn't buy those. Baby. Baby's playing with the <laughs> thing over there, the bag. And then there was this one, you know, because the theme is choose your character. Black Widow or the Bird of Paradise is their theme. Cast your character. So for the other part, it's this one. Look at it. It's so, oh, look at that. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm going to do one look and one look since I'm going to take that, uh, you know, I'm going to take the eyeshadow off. But this one's got purple on it and this one's the haunting. Oh, that one's so pretty. And then there's this one. Very dramatic. The hollow. And like I said, the lashes are, I don't know how much the lashes are. It doesn't tell me on the display. The lashes are $8.97 as well. Okay, so lipsticks, these lipsticks are $7.97. And then the other ones, because I got two, are also $7.97. So that's cool. That's nice. Those are, those are reasonable prices. They really are. But wait until you, I'm going to swatch these for you guys. Like, oh my god. Look at these colors. Look at these colors. Okay, so I'm going to swatch all that first in case you don't want to see, like, the eye look and all that. I know that some of you just want to see, you know. Oh, my God. It's so glittery. Oh, my gosh. Can, will it? Yes, there you go. Okay, so we're going to swatch it on here. Oh, wow. Oh. So there's the red. And that shade is Love Bites. And then we're going to go with the purple next. The purple is Make Believe. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I was so excited, and I saw this. I had to buy it, and I went over my budget. Once Upon a Time is this green one. And, you know, I just said, like, I wanted to save money. I failed. Trying to get the sticky off oh, without messing it up. Where are, oh, here we go. I was like, where are my little cutters? Or something to cut that plastic with. Okay, there we go. Aha. So here's the green one. So I do like Milani as a brand as a whole. 
I've just, it's one of the first makeup brands I used, as, you know, as a teen. You know, the teen years where you're learning. Cookie. Cookie. You'll get cookies later, just not now. And then this one's like a black. Oh, I can't tell. It's so, yeah, oh my goodness, or blue. Is it a blue? It's like a black tone, purple. Oh, they're so pretty. So those are the... Those are, I'm like, it smells kind of like cake. Those are those swatched. And then we have their classic Amore Matte um, in leather. This one's leather. I, these are amazing. They're very long wearing. Oh, wow. I love the way it smells. It smells like red velvet cake. Oh, so there's that one. I was like, did I get a message? And then we have the classic red in satin. Classic red shade. Such a bright, vivid red. Oh my goodness. So those are those swatch. The lipsticks are here. Look at how pretty they are. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Amazing. I'm going to try to just rub that off. Wipe it off as best as I can before it dries because then I'll never be able to get it off. Okay, so those are the collections. It's got the jewels, it's got the lipsticks, it's got all of that, you know. So I am going to do one eye look and one eye look, maybe. Or maybe I'll, you know, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Or maybe Mom. I'll use both on one Go. eye. Go. Where are you going, baby? Okay, so taking that off. Look at that. Oh, that's like the perfect smoky palette. And then try and take this one. This one's beautiful. I like how they do like a dark one and a light one every, for, you know, like Halloween. Because last year they also did that. They did a dark one and a light one. Oh, these are so pretty. I might put both of them together. I don't know yet. Oh. Let's see what I come up with. So we're going to go in with this one first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, we're not. We're going to do this one first. The colorful one. We're going to do the colorful one first. Yeah, we'll do this one first. So, let's see what I can come up with. Oh, look at that. It's got like... Oh, you see my everything. In full plume is what it says. It does not have a protective plastic on the mirror. But it does come with the mirror. Um, and then I guess we're going to do... We'll do this one on a whim. It's got some, yeah, you see that? We'll do it on a whim. Because this is on a whim. Where I decided to do this video, because I really want to show you guys. So I'm just going to, like, try to fluff it out right here. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Hello. So, beautifully pigmented. No issues there. Okay. And then... On the outer edge, I want to do Imagination, that orangey shade. So, let's see how those blend together. I think you put too much bread in his mouth. <laughs> He's fine. Okay, and then I do want to go in with like, this light blue, that fairy tale shade. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm trying to like, trying to do something cool. He said, we'll do this, this like grungy yellow right here. That mustardy yellow and fantastical. Yeah, we'll go with that one instead. Because I have orange there. Well, do I know what we're doing? No, there is fallout. So, with that yellow, be careful. More like you want to pack on the color first and then blend. Since I plan on doing a dark shade right there, I'm not too worried about the fallout. So, yeah. You get a nice mustardy shade. There is payoff. Good payoff. So, I'm happy with that. And then, I'm actually going to finish it off with this white right here. Make a wish. I want to see what that looks like. Normally, white is a very hard shadow. To pull off, but okay, then Milani's coming through with this white eyeshadow. Oh, I'm actually quite excited about that. 
Okay, so I did pack on quite a bit after that, but look, 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 look. It's probably because I had some of that yellow still on my brush. Okay. So we have that right now. So for white, like um, for white, that's good. That's really good, especially on my skin tone. Like, I am very happy with that white right now. And then I'm going to go in with the dark palette now. We're going to go. You grounding at me? Oh, yes. <laughs> and babies over here pretending to be a monster. Nightmares. Funny. This one's got a spider web on it. And it's got caught in my web. Okay, so, like I said, nightmares. Oh, be careful. It's a lot of kickback. So I'm expecting a very good amount of color payoff. Putting it on. That is such a beautiful navy blue. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Do you, baby? Also repeating my wow. So, just packing it on. The brush I picked is not the friendliest blending brush, so it's like that's not the, the eyeshadow's not to blame for what's going on right there. Let me actually switch to a better brush that's softer, so I can actually get a better blend. That wasn't that's not the shadow's fault at all. See exactly yeah. that brush fixed it. It was the brush. Okay, so oh, that's so pretty. And then after that, um, the whole, oh, the, I think I'm going to do this red bite me. Okay, so our look is going to be all kinds of crazy because I really want to test out these shades. That's a really nice red as well. Oh my goodness. It's not like I love Milani. I don't get to use them as often as I'd like. Now as a continuation in the crease, I want to go in with it, that gray that's in here, with this gray, Creep It Real. Okay, so we're doing good. With a really nice, cool tone gray, like it adds, really nice. Really nice. Going back in with that navy blue. Okay, we're gonna finish it off with this. Yeah, this one. That gray, that silvery gray, the villain. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So that's a really beautiful shimmer. I'm going to take a bit more of that gray. Make sure I blend it in with that white. Okay, so I know that eye look is crazy. I just really want to test it out. These eyeshadows, and they're all blending beautifully. They're, like, very pigmented, very strong. Oh, that's... Those are nice shades. Okay. So... Now, to actually, like, give you an idea of what eye look I would actually do with this. Like, if just a single palette... Because I know you're like, but Mar, we wanted to see an actual eye look. Okay, so an actual eye look that I would have done, or would do, is take this, this black, and arachnophobia. So that's fear of spiders, I believe. Which would be Dustin. Dustin freaks out when he sees spiders. That is one of the best black eyeshadows ever. And then, fun fact, the first eyeshadow that I ever bought was in a single, and it was from Milani. Favorite one, I believe they discontinued it, which makes me very sad. It made me sad back then, too. And then, I'm going to go in with the creep, keep, creep It Real, the gray. And bring that through the rest of the crease. It's just a bit lighter than the black. Like so. And then for all over the crease, 
I'm going to do the blue, that beautiful sapphire blue, Superstition. Oh, wow. That is such a pretty blue. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just cannot deal with that blue. Okay, so that's very pretty. I'm just trying to even this out a bit because I know it's looking crazy. And then on the bottom, I would do, I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to do the arachnophobia again on the bottom. Make it, you know, good to go for a real eye look on this eye. Continue it. Be careful, there is fallout, so keep that in mind. Remember to tap, tap, tap. Then the center, continue again with superstition. We're going to clean it up. Don't worry. We're going to clean it up. That gray went everywhere. Like it, it just decided to lose control. This is just my, um, the brush that I usually use to lay down my eye primer with. Just any of the loose eye, um, leftover eye primer is what I'm using to clean up this eye. Because of the fact that there is a bit of fallout. And I want to clean it up. And then I do want to add something to the outer edges of this, this. So I think I'm going to do this beautiful, like, shimmery purple. I know you're probably like, what? Even I'm like, mm, maybe not, but we'll see. We'll add it up here just to see what it will do. That is such a pretty purple as well. Okay. So that's that on the eye. If you want to see a swatch, that's... It's just... Oh my goodness, that's such a pretty purple. Okay, so overall, that's what we would have done. So let me pause. I'm going to wipe this one off so we can do a colorful look on this eye. Okay, so give me just a second. Okay, so I lied. I just did the other eye to even it out so you guys could see because I'm about to try the lashes for this half. Um, and I think I'm actually going to go with these purple ones. Because, you know, to match the little bit of purple that I have put on there as it's accentuated. So we're going to go in with our lash kiss here. Make sure to get it on there because right now it's looking pretty good now that I added the liner to it. I know I was looking insane a minute ago. Like that. That's because I also want to get to bed. I haven't slept yet. Went to work 10 p.m. Got off at 9 a.m. Because I stayed over. And it is now currently like 12. So I'm like, am I going to sleep today at all? No, probably not. So, we're going to go in again with the haunting. I'm just going to put them on quickly, show you guys the finished results, Take um, match it up with the lip, you know, take a few pictures. And then we'll switch to the colorful one. Because I just want, I want to try it out. I just, oh. So it comes in like, the classic, you know, like, what you think would be like, the Halloween costume lash case. Which kind of like, why can't you just like, use some normal ones? a nice high-end case or something putting it on oh these are so pretty they definitely don't feel like the you know the halloween ones like oh my goodness do you see that okay remember you want the long end goes out short end is towards the inner part of your eye if you're like new to lashes and stuff because I know when I first did it, I was like, are you sure? These look kind of weird. Because I put them on backwards. Most of the time, they put them in, like, opposite eye. Okay, so they're going on. 
They're comfortable. There's a beautiful purple to it. I'm gonna try to blend them in so I can actually give you guys a better description of them. Why not description, you know, so they're not like... My lashes don't ruin them. Normally you would want to cut your eyelashes in a bit of mascara so they'll blend better. But I'm just doing this so you can see the beautiful purple in them. So, this is what the simple look would look like. It's nice, smoky, kind of like, you know, just kind of grungy of a look. You know, takes it takes you back to when you're like teenage years, rebellious. Anyone else have that? <laughs> that kind of phase? Okay, so with this one, I'm going to use one of the matte, um, the satin lip one. Like this, this one. With the spider on it. So we're going to use this side. And we're going to do it. You see how opaque that is? Like, oh wow. And I did, um, take the excess off. Ooh. This is one dip, you guys, okay? That is fun. What? Talking about the bread. <laughs> but I guess I know uh, I'm going to take it right off. But I still want to show you guys like. How pretty this is. Oh my goodness. Mama. And when I mean matte, like this is drying down matte. But it's such a comfortable formula that you're like, okay, cool. That was one dip. I even wiped off the excess in the little tube right there. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Milani's already drying down. Ready to go. I don't know if it's fully dry. Nope, not yet. Transferred. It's supposed to be transfer proof. So, drying down. Everything's fine. Beautiful. The lashes are like these. I would wear these any day. It wouldn't just have to be Halloween. Like, like. Oh. Oh my goodness. I love colorful lashes. And then the. The color on this, for some reason, it you know how some of them sometimes if they're too strong they make your teeth look like very, very yellow, but this one's like not doing that. Oh. Okay, so, okay. Oh my, is it dry? It's getting there. It's getting there. Minimal transfer so far. There we go. Hi! That's for my inner lip. <laughs> I love that lipstick. So, once it's fully dry, it's a little bit of tackiness. A little bit. My, I wish I had, like, the baby wipe me I do. Cleaning off my hand, drying it off. Because if it's not dry, it's not a fair test. We're going to see transfer proofness. We're doing good so far. So, there's this for the dark, the dark. Mm. Okay, and now I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> I'm gonna do a colorful look and we'll be right back, okay? Give me, I'm gonna take it off. We'll do it on video too though. Okay, here we go. I did, um, when I redid my eye primer, I did lay down a bit more 
thickly because of the fact that I, you know, we already tested out the eyeshadows and I know that they might, this, these two, even though they did great, I want to see what they would do if I gave them a little bit more of a, you know, lighter base to work with. But with the first round, they did great. And now we're going to do a nice, pretty little lit up look. Okay, so this one's going to be a little more rainbowy, I guess, is what I'm probably aiming for. Or more sunset. I don't know yet. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start with this. This yellow one. The Fantastical. We're going to do it on the outer section. By itself. Let's see if it pops. I am packing it on at the moment. And trying to get it to fluff a bit. So we do see it. We're going on wonderfully and then we're gonna do imagination tucking it in just a little bit underneath it and then dragging it over like that see that orange actually makes it pop even more now that it has something to use as contrast so that's actually quite nice and then i'm actually gonna go in with dreamland like like that one's like a shimmer let me try to find a clean finger See? Oh. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. If I can blend if it blends, it's gonna be just above that orange. You see it? Oh yes, you do see it. Oh, it's shiny. I'm putting more of that mustard down. Okay. And now I want to use oh, Take Flight. It looks like it'd be red. Take flight, that one. I think I'm gonna go with that one though. I need something kind of fluffy. Not too fluffy though. So I'm going to try this one. And take flight. I'm trying to just on the corner of the brush. Trying to just keep it like that. So it is still a pink shade. I look kind of red in the pan. But that still works very nicely. Very beautifully. Make it through. Like that. Get a little bit more of that shimmer yellow dreamland. And make sure it blends in on top of that. Like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I do want to go in with this one. Wonderland. It's another shimmer. Like this. Very. That one's like very whimsical. Okay. So I do like that. Gonna finish off the crease with that one. Oh yeah. Come back in again with Take Flight. Mom, I did that's... too much of Whimsical. Mom. Wonderland. Okay, there we go. Continuing a bit more with Dreamland again because I do want it to Mom. go in like this. Mom. Like that. Mom, you want some water? He wants water. There you go. It's very full, be careful. Okay. So, and then all over the lid, I don't know, not all over the lid. We are going to go in with this blue though. The blue again. Fairy tale. We're going to grab that. Mom. And we're going to put that in here. Oh, so it's very pigmented. Keep that in mind. goodness so pigment beautiful 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 and now we're gonna go in with charmed that purple it's also a shimmer like let me show you on this finger that's with that shimmer that's a pretty purple like oh okay so going in with that one gonna try to see how it lays down with just a brush is it opaque yes yes it is that did great that did wonderful with just the brush oh okay we're doing great we're doing lovely and then to finish it off on the inner corner i am just gonna go in with that white this white right there this white make a wish packing it on yep look at that 
beautiful, beautiful. I am loving how strong this palette is. Okay, so for the bottom section, I'm actually gonna do the blue right here. Fairy tale. So we're gonna do blue. And we're gonna bring it in with that charmed again. And we're gonna finish it off actually with Wonderland. Okay. I know we look insane, but it'll all come together, I promise. I promise. I promise. And we will all come together. So, I'm going to do this eye, line it, and we will be back with adding lashes and a lip color. So, I'll be right back. Again. I'm sorry. And we're back. See, not so bad once you add the liner again. I'm telling you, the liner, just for some reason, it brings it all together. <laughs> I did add a little bit of that um, Dreamland in the inner corner to as my highlight today and now we're going back in with the kiss lash glue i did add a bit of mascara to my lashes this time around because i'm not gonna have to wipe that section off and try to do another look so lined up got it and with this section they had these beautiful really dramatic blue ones and then these like they're both dramatic I think I'm going to go with this one because, you know, I went with the purple one last time. So, we're going to do these. Open this up. I just got to gotta try it. It's the Halloween collection, you know. Oh, my goodness. These are so dramatic. So, like, at the end, it's got, like, feathers. It's got feathers, like peacock, obviously. Oh, my gosh. I don't. I can't believe I didn't realize that. Okay, so, I'm sorry. I bonked y'all again. We're doing dramatic, dramatic, because we're going to be beautiful birds of paradise here. Okay, and then one of the benefits, if you do your liner like this, um, a dark liner, um, when you put your lash down, you can actually kind of like cheat and bring it up a bit higher. So it doesn't like... If you blink, it doesn't actually go into your eye or touch your eyebrow. You know, you can adjust it. You can get away kind of in a little bit with that. Change your eye shape just a tad. And it helps with the dramatic effect. Zwell. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, baby man. I don't know what he's trying to do. Hold on. Give me a second again. Okay, now I can pause it. It said maximum reach, so we're in a new video. Give me just a second. I'm sorry. Okay, we're back. We're beautiful, beautiful birds. Okay, so I got distracted with a lot right there. Baby, everything. Okay, now with this one, we're going to try out one of these. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I might try an opera look or something. So, I'm going to try this purple because I like the purple a lot. Huh? He's gonna make a lotus. You know the corn, Mexican corn. I don't even know if it's Mexican corn or just Hispanic. Might be cross cultural. Okay, so we have beautiful purple. Okay. Mmm. I love how that looks. I'm gonna try to do an ombre look, and then we're gonna do the red. I don't really know if it'll work, but we're gonna try. Putting it there and then center here, like that, and I'm gonna. Mm. So it mostly worked. Probably add a bit more. We're learning. We are learning together how to do this. Okay. <laughs> I do like it though. It's very silky though. I'm 
By sulky, I mean like, I'm afraid it's gonna run. Not like sprout legs and run. Dustin's voice in my head. He likes dad jokes. Yeah, okay, so with these, the only downside I'm really having is the fact that it, it's like hard to control because it is so silky. So it's like running. But if you don't mind doing the, you know, um, attention to details, you can just go in with a liner brush, clean up the edges and stuff. But like if you're in a rush, having to go back and do this is kind of annoying. Oh, so you'd have to do all this and then grab a little bit of your foundation to make sure you get it all nicely covered up. So this is, this is what you would have to do. Go in like that and clean it up. Like so. Let's go in. Leave it nice and clean. But then you might, like, you see that line of demarcation? That's the only issue that you might face with this. It's that line right there. Because you'd have to do all of this. Unless you're just perfect with your lipstick. But this one does run a bit, so. But I did get the effect that I wanted. The nice little ombre right there. Yeah. So that's what we want, well that's what I want today for this, to complete my little look. So I hope, I hope you enjoy it. Um, you know, my final thoughts, uh, this lipstick definitely is more for looks. It's very satiny, very silky. It looks nice, I'm not lying, look, I'm not going to lie to you, it looks very nice, I love it. I am enjoying it. The lashes are definitely out there, but um... I mean, it's a Halloween collection. It has to be out there. So these were the Escape. And then the other ones that came with it are the Enchanted Enchantment. Which are very thick as well. So here we go with that palette. I believe I dipped into every shade in this palette. And it's on my eyes currently. So a very nice tropical colorful. I do love it. And then and this one, I don't... I, the inner corner that you saw me in with earlier was this shade right here. Oh, it's such a pretty shade. Wow. And then I think I used every other shade except this one, Cursed. I did not use that one, which is that. It's like a pretty purple gray kind of shimmer. So that one's also really nice. I do like this. It's a very nice grungy look, but since I rushed through it, the look I came up with was decent. It's not like the best of the best, but it's a nice grungy look. So, like, you can, ugh, I just, this speaks to me. I love it. I just need to have nice sit down time with you guys to come up with, the, you know, like a more cohesive look. It's just... This, this one, I think this one's going to be like a masterpiece, but this one's also, the shades in it, even though you think they're kind of repetitive, they work well with each other. And then, you know, the purple lashes that I did use, the Haunted, and the Hollow. Also very beautiful, very nice, wonderful. The, these, I love these because they dry down matte. Um, once they completely dry down, you know, if you're not like me and I try and check it every second, Transfer proof, long wearing. I do love that about them. They are easy to take off. I used a baby wipe. And then you have these beautiful four shades. As you can tell, they stay very, very shiny, very satiny. Do not expect that to be transfer proof because it is not. It is not at all transfer proof. But it's a, it's a statement maker. Definitely a statement maker. Also, remember, they do have the jewels to add on for your looks and everything. They do have, um, 
the Make It Last setting spray, the primer on there, the mascara, they have all your little bits right there that you would need all together. It's from Big Display, all at Walmart. Gave you guys a rundown of the prices. I'm going to do it again, just in case, you know, you forget, I forget. Eyeshadow, $14.97 each palette. Lipstick, $7.97. The lashes, $8.97. Both all styles all of the styles yeah all four styles $8.97 a piece the lip cream $7.97 as well so you know the lipstick the lip cream the one that goes um, matte also $7.97 so overall each uh, individual item is very nicely priced very affordable I believe if unless you go and buy them all in one go like I did and then it came out to 117 out of nowhere because the two pots together were already thirty dollars. I'm not. I'm not upset about it though. Like, I'm not even upset about like these lashes. Like, look at them. Beautiful. But I know. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I do am very happy with this final look that I made. The grungy look. I love it. I love messy grungy looks though. That's just me. But I think Milani hit a home run with this collection this year. Like, I love it. It's wonderful. It's great. I hope I helped you. I hope you, you know, are looking forward to this collection now that you know about it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.